Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We've just reloaded into the map. Now we are actually going to go to System View, to Galaxy View, well, cluster map, right? And we are to go to Pythias. So we are going to skip Fafa, I think. Right, we have no relays in this system. System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Okay, well, I'm gonna look at the entirety of the rest of the system first and then we'll look at Eos. Let's see what you've got. Anomaly on sensors. That's good. I like anomalies. What is this? Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Ooh. That's not a bad thing. Anything else on the plant? Nope. Back to the system it is. I'm up something. Let's jump to Belay. Looks like more hot magma. No visible anomalies, so guess we're just gonna go back to the system here. Let's jump over to are the two options there close together or is it just the one option? Alright, once again, no obvious anomalies. I'm picking up something. Are you implying there's an, an anomaly? Yes, you are. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Let's go take a look. A little bit of iron. Good to have. That is system. And off to Nanook. We'll land in a bit. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just gonna take a look at everything. Except for the codex entries because there are so many. And I have no intention of leaving. Reading them on camera, I might read them after recording at some point. Anomaly on sensors. Yeah, this one. Probe away. Looks like another satellite detected. Huh. All right. Milky Way research data. And I should expect that now EOS is the next step. Let's see what you have. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Alright. Let us go to Eos. Uh, I don't need that many weapons. Thanks for offering. 
How many... Do I have any other shotguns? I have the Pathfinder Deep Impact, which deals less damage, but has a large eclipse size. And better accuracy? Oh, and they can actually stick mods now on it. What's this? More penetration. More ammo. And these mods just change the color. And let's let's go with this one. Cool. And back. Uh, just just to make sure we are bringing this gun. And the power recharge speed is currently one hundred percent, which is what I want. Since I don't believe I can go over that. All right. The mods look empty here. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Apparently I was equipping them to the wrong weapon. Because I wanted to bring the Pathfinder Deep Impact, right? Try it out. I could have looked at the armor. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. I only looked at guns. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Uh, sorry. You okay? Hmm. I've got the training. People. The tools. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. I am guessing that we were getting some of the the Take signal that Sam was reading directly you into no our brain. How long I've wanted a pathfinder to see that. It looks like a big Cold brown shot. piece of dirt. Shield holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? No flying mountains or there. Sit us down at this nav point. Or thousands upon thousands of thunderbolts, by the looks of it. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, no. Who else is here? They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. They didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. I think got quite a fair bit of work done here. I sort of want to go there first. Maybe. Hmm. Ah, this is closed off. But we can parkour. We can hardcore parkour. Inoperable Pathfinder. 
too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? We're still not wearing helmets, yeah? So, canonically we are. It's just that my options are not to display. Doors getting emergency helmets. power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Thank you. Are they taking fire? Or are you just having trouble with heights? Oh. Oh, this door is open, so we can come inside. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. Let's take a look. But any constant that adds in May, what are you hiding? The EOS plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth despite an environment that can send blast paint. I've started to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected the signal of some type, some kind. Definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate, vector noted. Cool. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Nocli tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time the folks are up, I'll know what to say. Okay. So yeah, Cora keeps hurting herself on objects by the sound of it. This is an no problem, I assume. Cool. Can I scan it as well? I should probably hold my scanner this open. This provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. Okay. Yeah, they go. I don't know what all of these items are, but I'll take them. You can make some batteries with all that lithium. Another code, like we already found. Login, Chief Engineer Chris Slito. New entry, Specialist Kofari needs to stop navel gazing about the monoliths and whoever built them. You need that speculating mind on, of his. It doesn't grow if it doesn't grow food, sub wind, or get special Project Sigma done. It's not worth our time right now. His team is looking at the big structures, and they do good work, but the tax is running just in case. Vehicle tracking code: Chris Delta and Log. Good, 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 good. That means we know where to go to steal a car. Which is obviously a good thing. Because we will want to steal a car at some point. Alright, let's jump in here. Alright. Scan the chair, I want to know when it was made and when... Oh, okay. I want to know if it was older than Liam's couch. Alright. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Okay, let's take a look around. People are talking here saying that ES isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say, I didn't sign up for the initiatives to stay trapped in a floating tin can and I promise you can have your adventure later, when they had more time to plan for your safety. Mom told me to make sure you don't get in over your head and that's what I'm doing. At least think about it for me and check in more often, I'm starting to adopt Mom's worry. Already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger, it's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Sorry to bug you again, I requested an update on Leo Wells a few days ago and I haven't heard anything back. On my end it looks like the message wasn't even opened. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell Leah to message me back. 
Well, it doesn't sound like they had a good time here. Yeah. Doesn't sound like they had a good time at all. Right. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Cool. What's this? Play audio. Sandstorms radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? EOS might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. That's great. Except it's not. Alright, so I guess we're going outside. And do we did get a log? And they kinda want to take a look at that log. If I had any idea where to find said log. No logs here? No, that's just... Yeah, no, I have no idea where to even look for things here yet. I don't want to spend time on it on screen. So I'm probably going to miss a whole lot of valid information. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. That's great news. Alright, so... Did I accidentally stop tracking the quest? Yeah. Okay, that's what I did. Good to know. So we... Want to climb this? No, we want to climb that. Let's sort of want to climb this. You see, there is water here. Which is always a good sign, of course. Wrong button. How is that even? It's going for cheap. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. Really, Ryder? Yes. I'm glad they had a reaction to that program then <laughs> right let's take a look huh guess that ship wasn't kept then they don't knock there are people here we thought everyone left was gone of course you did now shove off find your own salvage this spot's taken i'm not a salvager i'm a pathfinder We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Good. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Oh, there's one down there. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. I'm here. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Right, that is also not how you scan. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Hmm? Ah, 
Come on, can they go up there? Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part time salvager. Okay, and you want me to scan this as well, don't you, Sam? Let's get some power. We need additional pylons. We've got company. Well, where are they? Oh, they... They were behind the ship. And over there. The Chosen! You thought you could chase, track me down all the way from... XCOM? That's not gonna work. go back up there again all right oh someone has something in the remains it's an assault rifle bit I'm not sure how necessary that will be okay let's scan the corpses oh right they were previously just known as unknown That's why me reacting to the chosen was quite as sudden as it was. Because I was like, wait, what are these? It's the chosen. And an adventure assault rifle. That's cool. I'd rather have shotguns. Please give me my big spicy one. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? What is the buff and oh those are just golden items there. I don't actually have the funds for this. But I can sell all salvage. I don't know what those are. Sure, let's sell all salvage. Yes. I don't think I bought anything, right? Just sold everything. Good, now I actually have money which I'm not gonna spend on anything. But I have it. And have some silicon. And let's get the outpost power online. Power restored! We should have access to everything inside one now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. We better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Yeah, better. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Ooh. K 
can be. Alright. Oh, this means we can get in here as well, right? Let's start with this. If walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a sh Holy shit, it works. Can you get audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things? Must be talking about the cat. Right. That was... On one hand, nifty. On the other hand, rather beard. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain. Watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on site one. The cat scouted them out. Good to know. Why did I not see this before? Chief Engineer Chris Lito, my radiation shields are dead, but I finally made to site one. Promise ease a ghost town. Damn it. There's gotta be something the storms and drag pack salvages didn't take away. Without the project, Site 2 is done for. A crew got torn apart faster than we can patch things up, and we hear that thing at night can't pretend it's weather anymore. Wind doesn't roar like it's hungry. Managed to pry enough components out for the project to patch up my shields. I'm heading home to Site 2 if it's still there. There was something very wrong at the second outpost they made. An attack? The radiation? Whatever it was, Site 2 made a special project to handle it. Let's keep it in mind for later. Yeah, let's. Fall damage is the thing, right? Yes. Good. Okay, so site one is the one named for Promise. Cool. Alright, well, I'll proceed from here next time, so thanks for watching. I'll see you then.